All right, hello everyone, let's take a look. So we've come up to Friday evening sessions are back to close. Now during the week, as you know, we're doing live analysis with the ATM trading strategy. So I didn't get a lot of chance to do the Astro videos because doing the video, following it up and then trading also during the day is quite hectic. Um, so I've got, you know, trading trades on multiple accounts. So we've got a bit, we've got a bit of a busy period. All right, so let's see. Also, even now it's Friday evening, and as you can see, it's 9.30 p.m. my time. We've still got trades open here at the moment. So let's see what we've got. Now, we've been working on gold. All right, so I didn't have time to do anything on the SP500. But on gold, we've still got room to go up. Now, on the, on the ATAM strategy, we were you know, going long from the bottoms, all right? So we've been expecting the market to go up from the bottoms since you know last week. It's nothing new. So since last week, we're always buying from the bottoms. And that's how we've been trading. And only this, like a few days ago, this was a bit scary because I just couldn't see this one happening. Uh, it came a bit too far down than I anticipated. However, though, still we got into trades on what well, today's Friday, so on Thursday and Wednesday we we're in the trade. So we've been going up, up as the market has been moving up as well. And we've got room according to our strategy. We had a nice breakout today, and on the weekly, I was expecting the market to pull back up to a good buy kiss. So we still got room. 1913 was a resistance because it was a good buy kiss on the price, but we still had room to go back up on the 1945 level here and on the daily. 1930 is going to be a channel top right here. So it's the top of a flag formation here or a channel formation. Since we've got a bigger channel inside in, inside this bigger channel, we've got a smaller channel, got this up move happening. So 1930 is not a bad level for Friday closing. Okay, so if the market closes at 1930, it wouldn't surprise us. Let's take a look. All right, so as you can see, this is one account running at the moment. Now, as you can see, this is from yesterday. So we went in right at the bottom yesterday. Bang, market broke out. We were long from these levels. I added a position today on a pullback, went long again, and I just recently added another position on a pullback right here. So the market pushed up, came back, and it was a good spot to get back in. So this is working quite nicely, and we've got targets up here. So if we get up to the 1930 level, it wouldn't be too bad at all. So if I was to take this, um, or I could still leave it till the 1945 region, as you can see here on the weekly, right? So let's take a look at the weekly. So next week we might, it won't be 1945 next week because next week we'll have a new bar and that new bar will be there and that will be there, all right? So depending how we close up today, it, if it's not 1945, it will be 35, all right, next week. And also, it will depend on what this level here is next week when the market um, when the market opens. Now, 62.45 is still 1960, okay, so it's 1960, but this red line will be here, and the PST indicator will give us a new level all right so it'll be worth following up to there also here's something else is a diff bit of a different account um, on this one now you can see target here all the way up there so we've got room to go up but this is like long term all right as you can see 45 50 you know 60 and all the way up here we've even got a price at 2000 here so market could possibly go up all the way here and that wouldn't surprise us look at that okay it's a bit of a long run okay but i'm expecting the market to push up so if we break above this level here this zone and this zone then this is going to be rocking and rolling forward as well so the targets are a bit off but the entries are nice okay so if you think about it, the entries are right at the bottom 
on this account as well you can see like the entries are right at the bottom here it's nicely moving upwards and we've got you know room to go up there uh, and the market pushing up to those levels at 1945 like I said so this is actually a good zone and this account is also working out nicely as well if we take a look so yeah we've got some meat on those trades so what you need to do here on the gold let's take a look at the whole thing. let's take a look at what's happening on the astrology side of things next week now next week's monday let's open up noon on monday now this is monday right let's see monday is going to be 12th okay so i've got the 12th let's recalculate this is what we're looking at on monday right so we've got here the influence of the moon coming in let's see let's take a look at 9 a.m my time gmt plus three so as you can see we've still got some why has that happened 12 okay october let's come to morning am recalculate there we go all right so this is as you can see here the moon neptune jupiter yod all right so this might in the morning this is either going to be a top or a bottom if it's a bottom jump on board to go long all right if it if it is um alternatively it could also mean a top so if the market let's see on the 12th right so you got to check it out moon jupiter this is 12 45 pm right there you go 12 45 so this is 9 a.m so that's going to be on the 10 a.m you got the jupiter 60 neptune jupiter whoops let's just mark this back jupiter 60 neptune this is going to be exact so in the morning we might be at the tops somewhere and then once this disappears we we'll move forward in time beyond these moon aspects and we'll come to 1 p.m okay 1 p.m 1 p.m let's recalculate so these moon aspects are gone and then we've got a sudden move here so this is good all right this this is a nice geometry all right so on monday we might have a good push up now the reason we might have a nice push up this is going to set us up for the 15th or the 14th of october where we will have all right on the 14th where's the 15th of october here we go 14 and the 15 right here we've got sun 180 mars and sun 90 pluto so this is going to be an intermediary top for us if the market pushes up on monday and tuesday just be mindful that on the 14th or the 15th we're going to have a top somewhere okay and then we'll have a bit of a retracement that retracement will last maybe a few days maybe it will bring us back to the 19th okay um of october and the reason i say it's 19th of october is because we've got mars squaring jupiter on the 19th all right so this so this week going up next week that is right on the third 12th which is a monday 13th which is a tuesday so okay so monday tuesday might the mar if the market goes up then be mindful 14 and 15 we're going to be at the targets at a resistance level maybe on the 19th we'll have a bit of a retracement and then let's see what happens on the 20th let's go to the week of the 19th noon recalculate oh and then we've got uranus and mercury again on the 20th this will be a good opportunity to go long again on the 20th all right wow is that right again mercury and uranus opposing okay this is good for us all right this is good on the 19th we've got also venus parallel mars uh in the evening so that'll make a swift move venus chiron on the 20th they're parallel and so okay so this looks like the way to go okay how we can work about it if the market goes up monday tuesday 
Wednesday and Thursday might be a top. Then we'll be looking for a retracement um, until the 19th or the 20th. And on the 20th, we'll be looking to be buying at the bottoms, considering nothing has changed. So no moon aspects here. And when do we have, let's just check out the moon as well. Whew. It's been a busy week. So let's take a look at my moon calendar. We're on the 9th now on the 31st of the month. So no big dramas on the 31st. We've got a blue moon happening on October 31st. That's in the sign of Scorpio, which is, which is my sign. So we'll have a blue moon in my sign of Scorpio. Sounds good to me. All right. Okay, so we've still got time, but that looks like the situation. I'm talking for gold. I have not had the time and the opportunity to be trading anything else because um, we're trading live with, uh, I'm trading live in two languages, so it hasn't been easy. It's been quite full on, plus I had a few obligations towards the family, which I had to take care of. So it's been only gold lately, but this gold trade will be following up, so be mindful. If the market goes up again Monday, Tuesday, we're going to have a full pullback. And then on the following week, we want to just push it up again. And then what you need to do is just use your PST levels to get in. Because we've been working on the PST levels even today. When I just re-entered, imagine it's a Friday. All right, so on a Friday, I re-entered a trade. The market's about to close in an hour or so. And I'm GMT plus three. And as you can see, it's 9.39 local time here and it's new york 239 so the market's about to close up soon and i got in right there with the pst indicator so it was a perfect place to get back in before the market started going back up again so i just deleted this all the white lines are my drawings and everything else the system just does for you so getting in on the supports on the pullbacks are really important if you want to follow this and we've been adding positions, so this is why um, we've been adding positions and taking partial profits as well. So the high of the day is still to be done, um, and we'll see how that goes. So, so far it's been 1,929.39, 1,000, yep, the highest the market did was 1,929.29. So if it makes 1,930, I'll be happy because that's going to be the top of the channel on the price. And if it does that, then this will work out magic. All right. So this is how precise the system is. Let me see. In fact, right there. Okay. And that's how precise the system is. Now on the PST, we still got power. So the PST is telling me, listen, you can still go up to 62.55. Let's see where we are. LCL, 60.25 there. Okay, so this thin blue line is the LCL one line. That's 1,940, right? So the market's got potential. On the price, it's 1,930. But in terms of strength, it's got 1,940. Now, if it doesn't do this today, on Monday, it could push it up and it'll be a little higher. And then this 1,945 level will work out fine. Okay, so in any case, let me just refresh that. So we'll get back into where we should be. So this 1,945 level or slightly under it will work out fine. This 6245 on the PST, which is 1,960 should still work out fine. So if the market goes up, pulls back, we should be buyers again. And like I said, um, astrology-wise, all you have to do is just follow up your chart. If you're interested in trading um, the financial markets with astrology, okay, um, I've got a really clear-cut course on that one as well, um, where we can you know really match everything together. Um, price, astrology technical analysis when they all correlate it works out fine my only mistake this week was here because i was at the hospital last week um and i just missed out this top level last friday which i should have caught but you can't win them all this is why we need 
um, a strategy where you can have money management as well. So in the interim, guys, have a great weekend. All the best and hope to see you on the next video.